Now for the tough challenge for schools out there. Many districts are preparing to start the school year with remote learning. 11 Alive's John Sherrick spoke to Atlanta Public Schools' new leader today. And John, for now, it will be remote learning for at least the first nine weeks. That's correct. Atlanta School Superintendent Dr. Lisa Herring tells me that online learning is never better than in-person learning. But she told me today that when online learning does resume next month, one of her priorities will be to make sure that students get caught up after all the disruptions the pandemic has caused to their learning. It's not a question about whether or not there was a disruption in the learning process. We know that there was. Dr. Lisa Herring, sworn in just this month as Atlanta School Superintendent, says before online classes resume on August 24th for nine more weeks at least, teachers will be meeting online with every single student, more than 54,000 students, to see what the children will need to get back on track academically. There is a need for us to assess uh, where their levels of mastery and proficiency may be. But when we can identify that, that allows for us to know where to begin with the teaching and learning process. And Dr. Herring says because of all that everyone has already learned about virtual learning during March, April, and May, from now on, she says, online classes will be as close to being like in-person classes as possible, and she hopes temporary. We miss human interaction. We need it as human beings. Children need it. They need it for growth and development. Dr. Herring says she will continually assess the status of the pandemic. No way to set a date yet when in-class learning will resume. In the meantime, she says she's focused on helping students meet all benchmarks for academic success, even if they get there a bit later than they would have without the pandemic. Lowering the bar is not an option. Between August and December, we will have had a chance to reassess reevaluate. That's what I like to call academic grace because we're going to need some time to do that because we've all been interrupted. We may simply need more time to do that. Dr. Herring said that one reason she believes the next phase of online learning will be better is because in March, everybody pretty much just had to jump into it without any preparation. This time around, she said even parents are getting the opportunity for training. So everybody, she said, will be better prepared to make it work well. Back to you.